Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, y'all. So, guess who this is? This is Gary and Mary, Junk the Gems Homestead. Yes. <laughs> Man. I'm hoping you guys all had a, uh, had a great Thursday so far. Or had a good week. You know, we've had a yeah. pretty good week. Yes, we have. Uh, uh, well, we, uh, well, sort of a good week. We was feeling like a duck. Yeah. For a, a little minute there. Yeah. We were stuck in the house for a second. It was raining. We couldn't do anything. We, there's nothing really we could do. A couple of days of nonstop rain. But at least we got a couple things done anyway. Yeah, we got some stuff down and around the house that was, was yeah. a priority. And the dogs got uh, a, a bath. And yeah. Got all um, flea and tick treated. So they yes. are rock and rolling, ready to go again. Because, uh, you know, as you know, we're. It's in that time of year, and we had to start prepping them for it, so. Mm-hmm. Because the fleas and ticks are out here now, so, like, we've oh, never yeah. seen so many ticks. That, like, we didn't have that many in Florida because we kept the yard so good, but, you know, out here, we haven't, we don't have a chance to, uh, we haven't had a chance to do that, really, treat the yard, like, you know, staying on top of it, really, so, yeah. We've had to pull a few off of them, but now they're all flea and tick treated and bathed and smelling pretty again. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's, uh, oh, yeah. And unfortunately, the two girls are in heat, so they're, uh, the two babies are in heat, so they're, uh, we haven't had them fixed yet, uh, so they're, yeah, it's been a non-stop kind of battle running around here with them two right now. <laughs> so, tomorrow is a pretty big day. Yeah, what are you doing? Tomorrow, we are adding some more fan, friends and family to the, to the clan. As you know, already, you've yep. already seen them here. Jen and Wiley, they are, uh, we are going to get them tomorrow. You know, they, those guys, they, man, they, uh, they hooked us up when we came out here, you know, Drew and all, everybody was, was so awesome about helping us get here. It's time to return that favor. Yes. So now that they're moving over there by Jeff, we are all getting up and leaving extra early in the morning and the family is coming together to get them here. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, here, we've got a big day tomorrow. So we'll be leaving out of here bright and early, like uh, about the sun's about the sun up, you know. Well, Gary's going. Yeah. I'm gonna stay home and uh, attend to the, the homestead. I'm gonna be driving a big old bus back. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's gonna be fun. Uh, I, I love I love driving big trucks and equipment and all that kind of stuff. So that's gonna be kind of cool. And then today we were over at the new property. And we got to try out the new chainsaw, so that video will be coming out hopefully tomorrow. Yes. Uh, Mary's going to uh, stay home and work on that and and uh, try and organize some of this cool stuff. And also, we want to thank the R family and a few of the other subscribers. Oh, that yeah. Have, we got a package from them today. Yep. Um, the R family, y'all. I would like to show that. that yeah. would actually, I want to show that. Let me go grab that. Go grab that. Quick, okay. So the R family has been, been awesome and... Uh, Y'all just keep sending us all these cool little gifts and man, you just don't even know all those It may not seem like a lot to some people or or very important to some people But to us it means a lot because all those cool little toys man Those those things are helping like today. They you know, they helped out quite a bit the chainsaws are great But when you're trying to lop up all them little limbs and get them ready to burn, you know that the chainsaw is just, you know, a lot, of, a lot of times that small stuff, the chainsaw just wants to make it flop back and forth. It doesn't do any good. So those loppers are really helping. So that's what we're going to be doing. Whenever this, this weather calms down a little bit, we're going to go back over there next week and work on some more of that. And we're going to start burning and yeah. uh, start getting more of that going. Well, we might even start it on the weekend. We don't, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, it all depends on what the weather's like. Because, you know, you can't burn when it's super windy like it is today. Cause, well, like, we, we might not be able to burn, but we can at least <coughs> kind of get it in piles and do some more other right. stuff. So, we got some more stuff planned. Wind was so crazy today, we didn't have the, the uh, awning tied down to the four-wheeler. Because you, uh, you can't see it here, but we got it tied down to a pallet with a bunch of rocks on top of it. This is from... Uh, keeping it, the wind from flopping it up. But we came home today... And that whole corner on that side was all folded over, so it was like, yeah. man, it broke the army. But back to what our family, they got, they sent us something, and I wanted to show. And as you see, they got us seeds. A vegetable pack of seeds. A garden pack of all different sorts of 
vegetables and herbs and flowers. <laughs> oh, me and Miley are going to be busy. <laughs> going to be busy with it. Yeah, so we're probably going to figure out a way to uh, make some small raised beds here. Um, so we could transport them yeah. over there. And that would be like, yeah. The, um, and so we can get them started at yeah. least. Because I really like to get some food for us. For the winter, so that we'll we'll really see good. how that goes. I mean, if we can if we can scrape it together to find some scrap wood or whatever to, to put something together to make some, you know, even if we got to find some old pots, you know, uh, and grow them in that for now, and that way we'll just transport pots over a little at a time. But main thing over there is getting everything cleared. Well, though. true, we got to do that first. That's the main thing. Then we'll work on that. And yeah, if I'm scratching a little bit, it's not really scratching. It's a saw, uh, chainsaw, a tree does from you know cutting the using the chainsaw today. So we cut down probably yeah probably 30 trees today at least. At least. Yeah. So there's a big old pile over there, and uh, yeah, we got to get it in another pile and to burn it, and yeah. And thank you, Randall, for helping us out today, man. You uh, you're awesome. That's uh, that was a big help today. Yeah, he was helping us out. So we left him another chainsaw in case he got bored while we were uh, not there. <laughs> it's like here, man. If you get bored, you want something to do? There you go. <laughs> so that's gonna be cool. We're gonna be getting onto that here. We can't wait, man. Uh, yeah. Day by day, yep. we'll be doing it day by day. Uh, we do, or like he said, we're going to help some family. Yep. Some family right now, so we're going to step away, but that's okay. It's only a day or so, so it doesn't. It's not going to hurt us. Yeah, and we got the property now, so now we just now now it's at our own pace, getting it cleared and getting it ready. Um, pretty much where our driveway is going to go, um, back to the camper, it's kind of wet. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to uh, save up a little bit of money and uh, rent another machine. Even though Drew's going to have his over there soon, um, just for us to get the camper in there, we're going to have to have another little machine to um, dig us a big enough hole to get dirt brought out, uh, which we, we were going to dig a pond anyway eventually, but we're going to have to dig one before we move the camper over there anyway. Um, probably way before Drew is ready for us to use the backhoe over there. So what we're going to have to do is uh, get together, uh, save up some cash, uh, rent us a small mini excavator. We can get one for about $1,000 for the week. And uh, that way I can dig this pond, get this dirt piled up over there. And, uh, and that way we can be ready for the rock. So um, we're going to get two loads of rock. We figure two loads if I bring the dirt up, you know, a little bit and lay the rock out there and just put it kind of thin down through there that should be enough to get us back to the barn uh, so we can get the camper set in there and then once we get the camper over there y'all and the and the water and power you know there's no reason why we can't be there full time and, and that way we can start building and working on stuff yeah um right now is getting all the trees out of the way so we can even get to the barn <laughs> So you can get to the spot where we going to do the the pond. So, yeah. I mean, there, there's a lot, but there's yeah, we'll get it, we'll get there. Yeah. And with a mini excavator too, that that's got a like a bulldozer type blade on the front of it, so that'll help us move a lot of that stuff around. Uh, we are saving all the trees that are like about that big around, um, at least uh, 15, 20 feet long. We're saving those out and just stripping all the limbs off of them because we're going to build us a cool fence out of that. Um, and not just not just posts, but we're going to use them for, to actually build a perimeter fence out and around the property, or at least our living area, and uh, and build some stuff with those. And, you know, got to do it junk the gym style, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, you know me. I'm going to come up with something cool to, to make it look good. And I don't care what, you know, if it, it, it may look, redneckish or hickory or whatever you want to call it but i don't care we want to make something cool out of it to make it kind of make it unique you know in our, our own style there um so that's the plan for that there's a lot of these uh, little trees over there i don't know, even know what they call them they're more like weeds that have just grown into trees uh jeff had a name for them before but i i something i've never heard of so uh but anyway they're they're good and straight they grow good and straight they're they're pretty strong so we figured, you know what, why not put them to use, you know? And uh, we'll just you know, kind of probably lean them up like this and probably make us a bunch of X, X's down through there and 
and uh, we'll bolt them together somehow, even if I got to use lag bolts or long screws or whatever. <laughs> um, I've been looking on Amazon, and they've got some, uh, they've got some like eight and ten inch screws uh, that you can just run in with a drill, which would be perfect. And uh, we can, you know, kind of make that cool, kind of make it come together and make it look good. So that's the plan so far. Yeah. Um, we do have a few extra tools uh, and and gifts from from y'all, so we want to thank you all for that. Um, we're not going to show them yet because we want to do a video on one that uh, it's going to we're going to install. And uh, but that will be coming soon. Yep, yeah, because uh, she wanted us to put together a video on on how to put this thing together, just in case other people have one and they you know want some help putting it together and finding the tricks and everything and the tips to make it happen. Exactly. So we're going to be doing that soon. Um, right now. It's uh, the rest of the day is chill time. <laughs> yes, gonna, because he has a big day, and yeah, I gotta. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a long day. We're gonna leave here bright and early and get over there. It's about a three and a half, four hour drive over there. Figure by the time we get over there, load trailers up, all that kind of stuff. Uh, from what I understand, Jen and Wiley have already got them uh, pretty much loaded. Uh, they just need transporters. So that's pretty much what we're doing tomorrow. Jeff's truck is gonna be pulling one trailer. I guess Drew is gonna be pulling a trailer. And Mikey's going to be pulling a trailer. So, who knows? I don't know what all the details are. All I know is I am the, I am, I am down and in. <laughs> How does that go? Am I down or am I in? <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> uh, I'm always up for a fun bus ride, man. <laughs> as long as I ain't a short bus, you know. <laughs> I don't want to ride on the short bus. <laughs> and I'll say that for my cousin Angie. Angie, if you're watching, guess what? You you drive the short bus, hon. <laughs> uh, so if y'all don't know that joke, you, you have to look it up. <laughs> I don't want to offend anybody real bad. <laughs> um, let's see, what else we got? Uh, I think that's about it for right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least we can drive the one forward around when it's not so windy and we can untie it, untie the canopy from it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we don't have we anything have to else. Figure out something else to tie it down. But when we get over there, we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, because so. it'll be rolled up and up yeah. in the camper. Because it'll ball. It's going to be inside the barn. We did manage to get a few of the trees right down, the, down right there by the door of the barn. We just got to drag them out of there and cut them up now. Yeah, he put, he he took them down, but he didn't move them. No. This, <laughs> my my goal today, my objective was get them down, get them laying on the ground, and kind of get a get an idea of what that looks like you know what that's mm -hmm. gonna look like because yeah. uh, we don't want a straight straight path right straight back to the barn we want it to kind of curve around so because we want a little privacy in there you know yeah because <coughs> as y'all know we're gonna have neighbors now so because uh, all that property is pretty much sold out there so we're gonna be having neighbors coming down our road right in front of our house all the time but that's okay you know uh, we'll just make it best we can but it's five acres so you know yeah. It's 650 feet long by 336 feet wide, so it's mm -hmm. it's pretty good well, the size. Well, I wanted at their house, I don't have to look at them anyways. <laughs> right, yeah. So. Yeah, all we're going to do I mean, is... I don't want to have to look at you know, the back, so that's fine. Right. I'm not, I'm not worried about all that. Even because the Amplus is five acres. Yeah. So it's, it's good. So we can really be far enough off the road, and once we build the platform on top of the house, because we plan on building our house, you know, a long, skinny house, nothing, nothing super fancy, but uh, we are going to do some some cool little modifications to it, and then I plan on building a roof deck up above that um, with rails and everything, so we can get up there and grill and watch the mountains and stuff at night, uh, and the, you know, in the either in the fall or the summertime, you know. And uh, also gives us some privacy up there, but yet we get this cool mountain view and still be able to keep our privacy on the ground with the trees. Mm -hmm. So that's the plan for that. Um, so we think it'd be kind of cool to have a, a deck over the house, you know, plus it'll protect the house, you know, as well. You know, any tree limbs or anything like that comes down, it, you know, it'll hit that deck long before it hits the house and the roof. So we think that's going to be very cool. I don't know how you're going to do that one. It sounds confusing. Mm -mm. I got a plan. The plan. I got the plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right up here. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll have to figure that one out. <laughs> if it's just up in here. <laughs> I got it. 
<laughs> and as y'all know, I can do it. So. He, he doesn't write nothing down. <laughs> no, I figured out as I go. But I, I, you know, I, you all know, I got the talent to do it. I mean, look at the deck in Mina. I, that ramp in Mina. I didn't, I didn't have anything in my, you know, write, wrote down. I just did it all in my head. And, uh, you know, it, can, it obviously came out beautiful. So that works for me. <laughs> You know, you kind of get the basic idea and then you just, uh, you figure out the engineering as you go. Because, you know, trying to write it all down, uh, that just doesn't work for me, you know. Um, I can read plans and all that kind of stuff and, you know, and I, if somebody else is drawing it up, I can read them and I can build it. But when it comes to custom cool stuff, that's just, it's in your head, you know. You can, it's hard to draw something like that out and, and get it to come out the way you really want it. Uh, a lot of times it's best for me, I get a plan in my head that, uh, where to start and then I just work the numbers in from there and it's you know it's pretty simple it's all numbers it works but I, I got this <laughs> so hopefully y'all can hear us pretty good today even with this lots of wind because we do have these cool mics now so everybody's been begging us to get mics and even with this high wind out here uh, hopefully I'm, it's, I'm hoping I don't know we'll hopefully it's sounding see. pretty good uh, we had him on in the live the other night, and uh, you know, you all said we you heard us pretty good, so we're hoping that the. I mean, I just yeah, we haven't really tested them out, so. At least not for our ears, anyway. We haven't tested them out. Uh, after this, I'm gonna listen to this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna see how she do. Yep. So that's the plan. Let's see what time is it anyway. Uh, let's uh, it's see. Been 16. 16 minutes. <laughs> Uh, that, I think that's about it. Yep, make this happen for tomorrow. I uh, got the hitches loaded up in, in the truck for Drew and uh, for Jeff's uh, truck. And uh, got music. I think we're rocking and rolling. All we needed to do is load the mini cooler up in the morning and we can go and uh, make that happen. Yep. So, you know, I'll be doing some video and of course everybody's going to have their cameras going tomorrow. So, you know, y'all know that, right? Oh yeah, that convoy. Yep. So that's gonna be a that's gonna be an interesting trip. It'll be like a hopefully it's not a junk to gems type trip. It's a it's a Jen and Wiley smooth type trip. But yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah safe travels. <laughs> yeah, we were joking with uh, Wiley and Jen last night about that. So hopefully it's not a junk to gems type trip. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, no, no, no. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're gonna cut this short today. Uh, and we love y'all, and we want to thank y'all for all the support, you know, as usual. Go thank a vet. Go hug somebody you love, you know, or reach out to them. Just say, hey, man, hey, you know, just thinking about you. And uh, other than that, well, until next time. Have a good day, guys. Bye. <laughs>